Hello everybody, welcome to this video where we're going to go ahead and take a look at how we can build a pickup system. So I have a blank empty scene here, this is just the third person template. And I've gone ahead and I've created a folder that says my game. And inside there, there is a folder that says blueprints. So inside the blueprints folder, I'm going to right click and we're going to go to new blueprint class. And from here, we're going to get this dialog box, which asks us what type of class of a blueprint we would like to create. In this case, we're going to go ahead and choose an actor because as you can see here, it says an actor is an object that can be placed or spawned in the world. So we're going to go ahead, choose actor and give this a name. So I'm going to name this BP for blueprint underscore pickup. From there, we can open up the blueprints and we want to go ahead and set up the basic properties of the uh, blueprint. So let's just open this up. And inside here, we want to go ahead and add a few different components. So the first one is we want to go ahead and add a scene. And you see we have this scene component 3D. We're going to enter this and just type in root. So a scene component is essentially just an empty container. In the uh, case of uh, this blueprint, it's just going to be used to link or make a hierarchy. So from there, we want to go ahead and type in static mesh. So we're just going to go ahead and type in static and this one we're going to name pickup. So what we have now is a container and then linked to that container is the pickup. Now we're not actually going to go ahead at this moment and add the uh, actual mesh we want to use as the pickup. Instead, what we're going to do is um, add that within the code itself. So we have the vers versatility of the um, of adding the mesh inside the editor as opposed to having to keep come back keep coming back to the uh, blueprint so once we've done that the last thing we want to add is a collision so we're going to go ahead and type in sphere and we have this option that says sphere collision and we're going to type in collider for the name here now i'm going to go down to the let's see radius so if we type in uh, RAD for radius, I'm going to increase the size of this to about 64. So we just have a, a, a larger area in which the player can interact with. So speaking of interaction, we want to go ahead and add the ability for the player to enter and interact with this pickup. So if we go down to right down to the bottom, we see we have this um, on overlap and we have a whole bunch of um, different type of overlaps we can do we want this one that says on overlap begin play and if we just pull this out you can see we have this on overlap begin uh sorry on component begin overlap so this is the one we want so let's just go ahead scale this back in and click the little plus button and what this will do this will jump us straight into the graph here now we have these other nodes that we don't particularly need so let's go ahead and delete them and uh, let's concentrate on building the first part of our pickup. So the first thing we want to do is to validate whether the player has entered the space. As it is at the moment, we can set anything to um, begin the overlap process or to have, a, have something happen when something has overlapped. And that's really not what we want. We want it so only the player can interact with the pickup. So in order to do that, we need to right click and we're going to type in player. And you see we have this option that says get to play a character. And let's just pull this down here. And so on the get player um on the get player character, we see we have the player index set to zero. And this basically means that this is going to be the first player. If you set this to one, then you will be making making it so only the second player can interact with this. And two would be so the, the third player and so on and so forth. So we only want the the first player to interact with the uh, overlap event. Now the way we do that is we're going to go ahead and click from this other actor. And this other actor, if we click out from this, we can type in equal. E-Q-U-A-L. And you see we've got these two different options for equal. And we want to choose this equal object. And so when we plug the return value into the equal um node here what we're essentially saying is that if the player uh, the player character is equal to something then something can happen so 
let's just go ahead and build the rest of the nodes and it will make a, a little bit more sense there. So we're going to go ahead and take the um, overlap event and we're going to, let's, there we go. We're going to type in branch and we're going to bring this in and basically all the branches is a statement whether or not something is true or false and if something is true we can do something and if something is false then we can do something else so for the condition we want to plug this into the equal sign so this gives it a little bit more perspective so if the player is equal to uh, what has entered the um the overlap then we can do something if that condition is met so for this particular video um for now we're going to just go ahead and we're going to just go ahead and have a print screen or, or a print string sorry to show and um, that's something is happening so let's just go ahead and type in print and we see we have this print string and all this is going to do is print out text to the screen so uh, let's see So we're going to go ahead and put type in here you have overlapped now we can click the little arrow key and change the color if we'd like to but we're not going to do that so what we have now is if the player is equal to what has entered this area we're going to print some screen uh, some text to the screen and that screen that text is going to be um you have overlapped so let's go ahead and test this out let's uh click and drag and bring our pickup into the scene i'm going to right click i'm going to choose play from here and as we move forward into where the area is you can see we now have this text in the top left that says you have overlap so if i just keep moving in and out you can see it going uh, up and down here okay so that's the um, first part of this tutorial i'd like to thank you for watching please subscribe and i'll see you in the next video